Mick Jagger was 73 when his eighth kid rolled into the world. Robert De Niro was even older, 79, when he announced his seventh. I know you have six kids, but like, Seven, have you? I just had a baby. Seven. Oh my goodness! Congratulations. I would imagine by now he'd have trouble remembering their names, wouldn't he? Mike Carlton, journalist, author, and one-time radio star, is well versed in late-onset fatherhood. At 77, he's the father of a teenage son. I was surprised I still had it in me, if, if you know what I mean. <laughs> his son Lachlan was born when Mike was 62 and his wife Morag was in her mid-30s. Uh, she became pregnant and she announced it to me, in fact, right where I'm sitting now in this house. I was stunned, I was shocked and I was not happy because I saw myself as happily retired. However, it didn't take long for Mike to embrace the newborn. I'd forgotten how exciting it was to watch a child being born. And from there, we never looked back. It was just such a fabulous thing. It's very different this time around. Um, when I had my first two kids, I was in my early 30s. I was building a career, working like crazy. And so I didn't give to those kids, those two kids, the time I wish I had. Aussie dads are some of the oldest in the world. In fact, the world's oldest recorded father was our very own Les Colley at an eye-popping age of 92. For some seniors, having children is the key to longevity. So I've radically changed my, my way of living. And the idea is to live at least another 25 years would be good, but at least till he's out of university. Mike's not the only dad who credits his son with helping him live longer. All the 12 years I've had Pierre, every day has been a joy. It's really kept me alive. Kevin King was 71 when he had his son Pierre. He met his wife Katya when she was a 27-year-old backpacker. Kasia mentioned then that after meeting my daughter, would I have a child of her own one night? And I said, oh, God, no. 70 years of age, you don't want to be stuck with a kid, you know? But Kevin was pretty quick to change his mind. To be honest, with all my previous children, I never got to see them at school or nothing. Never grew up with them at all, because I was always working, you know? Is that good enough? Let's have a look. Being an older dad does have its risks. Children born to fathers over the age of 45 are at a higher risk of birth defects, childhood cancers and schizophrenia. I was a bit worried about the fertility thing too and the, the possibility of some flaw or failure in the genetic makeup may, might make things difficult, but you sort that out with your, your gynaecologist and it all works. But for dads like Kevin, there are other day-to-day -day hurdles. Well, the good parts are because He's getting like older and it's just, we do things at home usually, but the downside is like he can't really play footy with me or kick the soccer ball with me or anything like that. It's because he's too old to do it. Pierre came home several times and from school the last year, upset and I'll say to him, what's wrong? Nothing, nothing. But he's tell his mum that they teased him at school because his dad wasn't going to live much longer because he's old. And, you know, that really upset him a lot of times. Before meeting Katya, Kevin was given two years to live due to heart problems. He says he's lived far longer than he thought he would. Well, I, I think Robert Nidero at 79 is marvellous having a baby. I think it's a wonderful thing, you know. Good on him. Yeah, tell him to ring me up when he can. <laughs> I am now a domestic goddess officially, something on a scale between um, Martha Stewart and Nigella Lawson. <laughs> I actually like to have the house in sort of shipshape order when my wife comes home, you know, and there's a drink ready for her and there's a meal in the oven and all that sort of stuff. Uh, it's pathetic, isn't it, really? But I do, I do enjoy it. The very best part of being an old father is watching my son play sport. I just love it. Brilliant. Another one. Fantastic. Oh, no. I am hopeless at this. I can't hit the side of a barn with a bucket of nails. See? <laughs> Mike's uncertainty about late fatherhood has given way to unbridled enthusiasm. If it brings you joy, if it enriches your life, which is done for me, then go for it, whatever your circumstances. suggestions that someone on this panel is close to 79. Not at all. Pricey. 70 what? No. <laughs> <laughs> you 
think. Where? <laughs> where are they? Where are they? No, no, you're actually not. But what would you think? Could you think of anything worse at the moment than like changing nappies? No, I don't think I did that when my children were growing up. So I won't be, <laughs> won't be doing it at 79. Let me tell you. Uh, look, the one advantage, and I, I didn't have children late. I was in my early 40s, which is not old. Uh, but you've got a good job. You've got a reasonably good income. You're probably, you know, well off paying off your house and all that sort of stuff. And so you, you can give your children a great start in life because of the fact that the stage of life you're at. So, mm. But I, I, I don't think, again, no. No. <laughs> no. No. Don't have the stamina. Well, we've got, we've got some news. Your wife's on the phone. No, no, no. It's, all, it's all good, Francie. It's all good. <laughs>